In this lesson, we are going to talk about form templates. Form templates or speed codes, if you will, are uh, just a really easy way to pre-fill a lot of information with an auto task. So let, let's show you what I mean. So let's say I want to make a new ticket. I will click on the plus right there. And this is the new ticket screen, as you will probably know. So as you can see in the top right corner right here, you can say enter speed code or choose template. And when I click on this, I can just choose a template which has been predefined uh, within Autotask. So let's say I have a ticket about fibers or malware. I can just select it. And it'll, it'll take a few seconds to load, but as you can see, um, it'll fill out a lot of uh, information uh, which has been defined previously. So the status has changed to in progress, priority has been set, the title has been filled in, the description has been filled in, and stuff like the checklist has also been filled in. Uh, just the same as stuff like this, like service level agreements and uh, uh, issues, sub issues, stuff like that. So it's just a really easy way to pre-fill a lot of information within Autotask and work a lot faster. So let's show you or let's talk about how form templates are set or defined. So let's go back to Autotask and to uh, set a new form template, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the admin um, uh, right here through the uh, hamburger menu in the top left corner. And as you can see, it's one of the things under commonly used right here. So you can see form templates. So we're just going to click on it and we will go to the form templates page, as you can see right here. Form templates are used in a lot of different entities within Autotask, because if I hover over new here, as you can see, you can use, use form templates for opportunities, project notes, quotes, we can use it for recurring tickets, for normal tickets, for time entries, for tasks, even for service calls, stuff like that. And um, uh, yeah, it's it's just really quite handy. So let's, let's make a new form template, for example, for a ticket. I will go to the new button and I will select ticket right here and click on it. And as you can see, um, you, you will get a new screen or the, or it'll it'll open in a new tab um, and at the top of the screen right here we have the we have information about the template itself so I can give it a name and the speed code this is important um, the speed code uh, will will define in which order the templates are shown from within the tickets. So if I go back to the to the form templates page, as you can see, the speed codes um, uh, are are in a certain order or they are ordered uh, alphabetically, and that's the way uh, they will be shown in the tickets um, or in the other entities. So if I will go to uh, or if I will create a new ticket, like I do right here. Um, the order of the form templates, as you can see, is it's just alphabetically. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you want um, something at the top, you can just use 001, for example, like we did with ticket templates. Um, and if you if you want something at the bottom, you can just use normal normal signs. Okay, so I can I will close this back up. So let's say I um, uh, I don't want it at the top exactly, but I want it something near the top. I can just use stuff like this. I can just give it this speed code, um, and the speed code it will. You can just use a few signs right here, and as you saw in the previous screen with the tickets, um, it'll it'll fill in the speed code and it'll put the name of the form template after the speed code so you will always know uh, 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 what it is or what kind of template it is. And uh, right here I can choose to whom I want to make the template available. So I can choose to either keep it personal to myself only to share it with my departments, for example, for, uh, for uh, service desk or technicians or engineers, or I can just um, make it available to anyone in the company. Um, after I fill this in, I can give it a description right here and I could just type stuff like there. 
and um, after I filled everything in I can just go to the tickets template right here underneath and I can fill in all the um, all the fields I, I would normally have to fill out within a ticket and I can just set everything right here and I can even pre-fill certain tags or organize by certain groups or I can make a checklist right here so I can just add new checklist items like I want to. I can just order them as I could. I can normally do within a ticket or if I already have a checklist made I can just add it from the library, select a checklist for example customer onboarding and save it within this form template so as soon as the form template loads the checklist will also load mm -hmm. and i can also select which notification options i want to uh, 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 choose within this template so i can just um, uh, maybe select something for a ticket complete or new ticket created or i might want to select something else i can select from which email I want to send this this notification I can add additional text and I can just send it right here really easily to for example um, the account team or the account manager but I can also just just send it to the primary uh, contact of the company or uh, uh, stuff like that so that's for a ticket how it works I will not save this one but it's just a really quick overview and the same goes for if I want to make one for an opportunity, for example. I can just go back to new and go to opportunity right here. I can click on it. It'll open uh, in a new tab. So I can just fill out uh, the information at the top here. As you can see, it's the same for ticket as it is for opportunity. Because this information under the template right here is the same for each and every form template uh, you will make. And underneath, as you can see, we just have information which is specific for the opportunity. So I can fill in the fields right here. And um, as you can see, there are a few other fields which are uh, available for opportunities. For, for example, values and revenue, revenue recognition, which we didn't have in tickets, are available right here because it is an opportunity template. And we can also add a checklist underneath, as you can see, and um, uh, set notification options. So yeah, that's um, form templates real quick. So we can we can just make them for all kind of different entities and um, we can select them always in the top right corner like we have with tickets. So it's just really easy to use them and we would definitely recommend you, you, yeah, we would definitely recommend to make a few form templates and just automate as, as much information within the tickets and, uh, and other entities as possible.